for a first down. First down at the 49. Again, both backs in there. Mayfield wanted to throw. Primary receiver was not open, and now he has to throw it out of bounds. Incomplete as Josh Kerr just down the street. Third down and 10. Oklahoma 46% on their third down conversions this year, which is fourth in the Big 12. Mayfield has plenty of time, throws a strike, complete first down, and it's Jarvis Baxter. And getting better in the run game, really taking off the last five weeks. Play action, Mayfield rolling and fires long to the end zone and too far. Intended for Sterling Shepard. TCU showing press coverage. Gary Patterson told us yesterday they thought they could do some things with that. Throw is too far in front of Shepard. Those two throws by him to listen be couldn't have been any better. No, beautiful. Oklahoma second set now offensively at the 28. In a pistol, it's P. Ryan cutting back to the right side and Samaj P. Ryan. Wow. What great balance. Big time Ryan runs through arm tackles as well. Out to the 48 where it's first down. Mayfield quick throw complete into TCU territory. You would expect some kind of double coverage on the bottom here against Shepard. They want to throw a screen I think to P. Ryan and now Mayfield does throw late but incomplete and over the head of crowd going over the middle. But watch as P. Ryan slips out. Caraway number 94 read it. Coming in the last five games Oklahoma's outscored their opposition 276 to 84. But right now they still got a goose egg on the board. Mayfield empty backfield and he'll try to run but they're going to bring him down again. That was a corner blitz. 115 yards and a long touchdown. Coming off a 14 catch game and the win over Baylor which was one shy of his own school record for a single game. Play action there he is Sterling Shepard right on action watch this guy get fooled by the play action as soon as he moves up here this becomes wide open for the touchdown great fake by Baker Mayfield the safety commits and Shepard runs right behind him for the easy touchdown and as soon as he got through that play action he pulled the trigger in a hurry and it was right not to mention he got his wide receiver smacked pretty hard punt coming up Shepard Back pedals, takes it at the 22, and he's going to have to go down right there. Nice coverage by TCU. Yep. With some tempo here. They hurry up on second down. First down out to the 35. Joe Mixon, he's running the ball well tonight. You guys are safeties, not built like linebackers. First down at the 25. And Mayfield, and it batted back. They're having. Their hands full with TCU, but thanks to a couple of big plays by Zach Sanchez, they've got the ball back. Mayfield, quick throw off play action out in the flat, got it to Andrews, and Andrews has got a first down. Boy, what a block by Sterling Shepard to balance their ability to run, their ability to throw, Baker Mayfield's ability to create plays. On first down, he's going to have to create something here again. He does get away from one rusher. And throws to Shepard, who made the catch. No, couldn't hold on. Bobbling it, going out of bounds. Wideouts in there for Baker Mayfield. Throws down the middle and incomplete. Shepard. Blitz coming. Mayfield got away from one, now two, and three. And throws <laughs> out of bounds. They're going to play it safe. And Mixon gets it to the 15 so they can bring out the field goal unit. Tank, yeah. if their offense can't sustain any drives and give them some rest, this running game will wear them down. P. Ryan again somehow kept his balance in the backfield, almost had his knee go down, put his. Mayfield comes up slinging. And Shepard took himself out of that play. Points before halftime. On second and two, Mayfield fires again a slant behind his intended receiver, and that was on Baker Mayfield. He said before yeah. the game that he's the only guy that didn't have one so far. I know you're listening, Mark. Third down at two. And that one's on targets. 
First down. When you have a favorite receiver, you just know he's going to be exactly where you want to put the ball, and that's what these two guys have. Yeah. Tight window there. For Oklahoma in the first half. Mayfield runs out of trouble, gets by a couple of tacklers, and they line it up in a hurry. At the TCU 35, play action, Mayfield all day to throw. Down the middle he goes and completes it. It just takes its toll. They took over at their own 14 with 244 left, and here they are on the 11th play of the drive at the 20-yard line with 20 ticks left. Pump fake, Mayfield wanting to go back the other way, and he's just got to get rid of this one. Middle linebacker for you, Traven Howard, number 32. Is it if he has to move out and play pass coverage like he's going to on this play, he's pretty comfortable. Mayfield, quarterback draw. Now, now he's going to think about throwing it. They might have guys downfield. He goes to the end zone to mix him, and he couldn't hang on. You could see behind his face mask and his shield on his helmet, and I don't think he was ever yeah, great I, after that. I was kind of surprised he continued playing. And here's Piran down the sideline, out of the backfield with a reception. He doesn't catch as many. The last couple games, TCU has been really good in the second half. And they're going to need that here, trailing by 10. Trevor Knight comes up throwing. Sterling Shepard in the secondary. Hurdles a man and gets in to TCU territory. Boy, what a great call by Lincoln Riley. You've got your backup quarterback in. You've got P. Ryan on the bench hurt. Get the ball to your best playmaker that's still available, and that's Sterling Shepard. And they go hurry up here, and now it's Mixon and Mixon on the run, and another hurdle job inside the 25 for Mixon. Yard line for a first down. Knight zips it down the middle. It's too far in front of Shepard. He might have had the 28 yard line. P. Ryan will shift over to Trevor Knight's right. And get it on the inside handoff. Straight up the middle. Samaj P. Ryan still on his feet at midfield. It's a foot race for P. Ryan. He got a block and he's gone. Touchdown. Putting his hand on the turf and uh, keeping some of those runs moving forward. He's right near his own goal line here. Yes, he'll get the carry off the left side. There he goes again. Samaj P. Ryan, another first down run. Give him two carries he had had since the career high 34 in his record breaking performance against Kansas last year when he went for a ridiculous 427. Will make the kind of plays that Mayfield was making in the first half. Third down and eight. Looking to make one here. And almost intercepted by O'Mealy. Because his dad played at Oklahoma State. <laughs> First down, Trevor Knight throws to the outside, and this one's complete to Shepard. And a nice move to the inside, and Sterling off to the races. Out near midfield. Just, and make it into a big gain. Short throw, but a big gain if he can make one guy miss. Gary Patterson said, reminds him so much of the kid. Knight. Throws over the middle high. It skips off the hands of P. Ryan. <laughs> Let him play it out. Here it's number seven, Oklahoma, clinging to a 17 point lead. And Shepard, tough reception and run after the catch for a first down. Throws sidearm out in the flat. Shepard makes the catch, but he's going to lose about five. That was a run pass option. The long pass game, but TCU kind of fooled him with the coverage. They read it, and when he had to pull it down and and double clutch it, it really ruined the timing of the play. Good deep. Remember, they had to use two timeouts earlier in the in the second half, also, so they only have one left. Of course, they don't need to use a timeout when they throw incomplete. That stops the clock for them.